Hello and gents, Ro here and welcome to Normal Films. Today we're going to continue our Apple Weekly News and let's go ahead and dive right into the first iPhone 7 Pro <laughs> rumors. <laughs> Suggest Apple will announce the fourth iPhone version in 2016. If you look at this, this is some concept art here. Um, the headphone jack will more than likely, well it's already kind of like I would say 90% confirmed that the headphone jack will be removed. And then uh, also here's another concept art and then the dual camera support as you can see in this image here you don't really see um, but then at the same time this is no um, confirmed image of the actual new iphone but it is more than likely going to have the dual camera support in order to um <laughs> i'm actually really excited about this feature because the dual camera would um, enhance the optical zoom and uh, well the zoom overall allowing you to zoom in further and get greater quality pictures as well also, besides the iPhone 7 Pro, we also have the iPhone 7 or iPhone 7 Plus and uh, also the iPhone 7 SE, which uh, will more than likely not happen. But what do you guys think the next iPhone 7 is going to be actually called officially? And uh, they're actually <laughs> giving you three different sizes here. This is like the iPhone 5 size. This is the 6S uh, size and then this, this would be the plus size. <laughs> and they're honestly they're giving you they're trying to apple's really trying to um, appeal to everybody's needs regarding the phone size and what, what they prefer and i think this is a really good marketing strategy personally like uh, everybody has different tastes in their phone size and like for example i i don't really care as long as i can hold it in my hand and it's not too large for my pocket as well i'm totally fine with that and uh, they're giving some uh, statistics in this actual article i have a link in the description for you guys uh, regarding what the major differences are going to be regarding from the iphone 6s and an iphone 7s <laughs> in this case actually that could be another name for it too uh, moving on uh, apple did patent a slick new magnetically detachable wireless earphones so i could actually see this being <clears throat> to um to come with the latest iphone 7 in the actual package the these new <clears throat> apple head headphones besides the standard ones they we've actually received and um, as you can see here's some concept art basically if the headphone jack is removed though with an iphone 7 so we wouldn't even have this cable but you would have a complete bluetooth to your actual headsets right here, like, just like this. And th I think that image kind of poorly <laughs> illustrated there, but this image on the left here shows you how, where it's gonna be detachable and where the wireless portion comes in as well. And I'll have a link in the description if you wanted to dive in deeper into this, uh, the wireless uh, heads headsets and earbuds um, as well. Uh, moving on, we do have, <laughs> here's, I wanted to throw this in real quick, how to fix your iPhone when it won't turn on. Uh, now, if you're jailbroken, there's a whole different way, other way to do this, but otherwise, um, I am going to mention that you can do a hard reset by holding your uh, power button and your home button at the same time for about, I would say, 10 to 15 seconds until the Apple logo appears again. You can look, let go and the device will completely restart for you. And then another way would be to completely restore your iOS operating system with iTunes. And all you would have to do is basically plug it into your computer. You can either hit restore or you can pre um, prepare your iPhone for the restore by holding the power button for about, uh, I believe, 10 seconds and then holding the home button. As soon as it turns on, holding the home button. Um, at the same time as you're holding the power button for another 10 seconds until you see some uh, Apple logo with the cable connect connection um, or iTunes logo with a cable connection on the screen and that will show you that you're ready to be um, restored and connected to iTunes. And I just want to throw that in there just in case uh, you guys weren't really sure what else you could do to maybe reset your phone real quick or like to restart it if it's just like bugging out or something like that you can try these methods as well. Um, last but not least I do have this Luca app. <laughs> it's an uh, interesting name I'm probably not even saying it correctly but it's an app basically that integrates um, AI bots within your chat conversation. For example, it's like it's like a conversation app or a messaging app that you can have with friends and then also an AI built into it that actually helps you assist. For example, if you want to schedule an appointment, the AI w within the app will actually schedule that appointment for you when you're talking or messaging with a friend about scheduling an appointment. It's actually pretty cool. Be sure to go check it out. And uh, that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys next video and later. So let my life be the proof.